this bus is owned by the Royal Ceramic Company Limited in Ajakuta local government area of Kogi State. The bus, while conveying staff to their residence after the close of work, came under attack by some gunmen. One foreigner, two drivers of the company, and two police inspectors attached to them were killed, while three other foreigners were kidnapped. On a closer look, the cost of bus's windscreen is shattered with bullets, blood on the floor of the bus, and stains on the folded seats end in the journey of the workers and the policemen. Efforts to speak with the management of a company proved abortive, as a security man at the gate said the management of the company is not disposed to speak. A visit to the Ajakuta Steel Company Limited's medical center shows that no one is undergoing treatment. A nurse who did not want to speak on camera said five bodies brought there have been deposited at the mortuary. A relative of the deceased senior driver who was killed says his brother spoke to him shortly before the incident. I was to be with him yesterday and I told him I couldn't make it. But inshallah, today in the morning, we'll be together. After speaking with him, just two hours in Taro, I now received a call. And there was an incident at Ajukuta. I said, what happened? He said, uh, Ibrahim is no more. I said, what is the cause of the death? And then I said, uh, he was shot. The Kogi State Police Command confirmed the killings in a statement signed by the public relations officer, Williams Ayer, stating that the Commissioner of Police has ordered the deployment of additional operational assets consisting of operatives of Police Mobile Force, Counterterrorism Unit, and Quick Response Unit State Intelligence Bureau to secure the area and apprehend the gunmen.